You're about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers-in-arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck. And lest us all beseech the blessings of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Medal of Honor Frontline, the new Let's Play. Now, uh, this is, uh, I have some history with this game. This is actually the very first PlayStation 2 game that I ever got. It was my seventh Christmas, and uh, I had just opened up my PlayStation 2, and with it, a few games, and of those few games, this was one of them, and it also happened to be the very first one that I loaded up and tried. Now, it's been a while since I've played it, but, um... It still is uh, one of my favorite games ever, of all time. So I, I do remember hardly anything out of this game, um, and by that I mean I don't remember much. Uh, it's been a long time since I played it, but definitely one of my favorites. Now, there was a speech from Dwight D. Eisenhower at the beginning of this that I was hoping to be able to catch, but the way my recording program works, um, if I have it running before the PS2 is on, it just doesn't ever catch the PS2 video signal. And if I try to load it up while the PS2 is booting up, uh, it just goes does the black screen glitch. So um, that's also not going to be an option, unfortunately. So there was a cool black and white cinematic talking with uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower talking um, about uh, some stuff. Um, it was it was his his D-Day speech. I mean, my brain is flustered because I'm I'm looking through the options while I'm saying this. Um, it was his, uh, let's see, credits? That's not what we want. Uh, nope, okay, well, hmm. Maybe it'll show it, uh, what's this? No, none of those. Uh, nope, none of those. Okay, well, if anything, that proves that this is a blank save here. This memory card is, uh, blank with this game. Or blank in regards to this game. Well, I guess we'll just get started then. Um, maybe it'll show that speech again here? I hope so. It's really cool. It shows uh, some, some actual World War II footage, um, black and white film, so maybe it'll show it again. I hope so, but we shall see. Uh, so first mission, D-Day, your finest hour. And we'll just play on normal. Oh boy, hang on. Two thumb action for one thumb set up for no. Uh, this one, I think. Let's see here. Aim is L1. Oh, R1 is fire, not R2. That's going to be weird. Um, jump is triangle. Okay, that's not too weird. Previous weapon, next weapon, those are going to be weird. Uh, let's see. Move and strafe. Uh, look and turn. Yep, all looks good to me. Well, let's see, uh, let's see what it gives us here for 
the introduction. Nope, it's not going to show us the thing. Dang it. I wish I could have been able to catch, capture that, but oh well. June 6th, 1944. This game came out a long time ago, so the graphics are not excellent. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's fine. It's whatever. It's more about the gameplay than the graphics, as usual. Pretty cool cinematics, though. Alright, now this is me taking over. Oh, the looking feels a little strange. Not sensitivity-wise, just the way it's like... It's very uh, all-or-nothing into the stick, which is odd. How do I crouch again? Is it right stick? Oh, it's L2, isn't it? R2? I thought I could crouch now. Uh, X? No? Hang on. I thought it was L2. I can't remember. We'll figure it out. Start button to view objectives. Okay. Stay with me and we'll get through this. We gotta take that beach. Select button, call HQ for hints. Hints. Look for the captain near the shoreline. And boom! I remember the first few levels pretty well, but it's the, the midway point and the later stuff where I'm just like, uh, what's going on again? I forgot. <laughs> I remember this quite well, though. And now I'm in control. We want to run this way. No sprint in this game. You just kind of go for it. It is L2 to crouch. It just wouldn't let me do it in the boat. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, you don't actually use sights. That's all right. Uh, so, this is old fashioned, so we have health, uh, we have limited um, health that we have to get from uh, pickups in um, on the ground, so. Oh, yes, leaning is a thing. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be interesting to get used to. Alright, there we go. How do I. I mean, I know I can't reload the Garand, but, like, how do I reload mid clip? Or. Well. Clip isn't completely wrong. Magazine. Clip is correct for the, uh, Garand, but you can't reload the Garand. Well, you sort of can, but not in the game. In real life, you can reload a Garand mid-clip. It's just not very easy or practical, because you're gonna... Your remaining rounds are just gonna pretty much spray all over the place when you eject. Anyways, that's, that's another thing. Um, anyways, the actual reload button is R2. Minor rant there. Yes, I know the difference between a clip and a magazine. I just, I said clip because I was on the M1 Garand and I was like, wait, you can't reload the M1 Garand, but you kind of can. But anyways, it's complicated. Um. Oh, that's not, okay, yeah. There's no sprint button. Hey, do you need some help? Okay, he doesn't need any help. Nothing can help him now. I'm here, I'm here, man. I need this help. There we go. Where, where, okay, here we go. Can I, oh, I can lean up, so... I do this. Oh, oh, gentle. Gentle on the stick. Uh, they're still hitting me pretty bad. Yep, good enough. Good enough. Alright, let's reload here. There we go. Just fire off the last shot so we can reload. Oh, uh, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Hey. Oh, boy. Ooh, plane. Get out of here. I needed an excuse to fire that last round anyways. <laughs> oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Harrison, get out there and retrieve those Bangalore. Okay. Oh, don't kill me. I'm on relatively low health. Oh god, this is not good. <laughs> Here's the guy. I found him. Also, don't forget about this. There is a Thompson that you're gonna want. 
but not right now. Don't don't waste your ammo for it right now. Yo, dude. I'm ready. Move out, man. Get out of here. I'm with you. Just go. Suppressing fire into the bunkers. Are you going to move? Okay, there we go. Stand up. Crouch down. Stand up. Crouch down. Um, I got shot from the front. That doesn't make any sense. From that angle, maybe. Go, 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 go. And crouch. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, I pressed X to reload. That that's not, first of all, I can't reload in this game. And second of all, that's not reload. That's not the reload button. Actually, we just lost some cover, if anything, but you know what? Oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me, I'm so close. I can see a gigantic field pack right there. Don't kill me. All right, dead it. there we go. Field surgeon pack, that's what it is. Oh boy, that restores like half of your health, 50% of your health, which is nice. Eh, eh, can't quite, oh, there we go, I got him. We'll never get inside that bunker unless we lose the two machine gun nests guarding it. Patterson, if you can make it across that minefield to the turret, you can use it against those nests up there. We'll cover you. Cover gotcha. Fire. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Now, Alright, I killed that guy. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Oh, I guess not. Hang on. If we go this way, I think there's less mines. Like back here? I'm trying to remember. I used to know this really well. Now I've kind of forgotten a little bit. Ow. Well, I hit one. There we go. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. I might have to adjust the sensitivity a little bit, but uh, we'll worry about that in a minute. Uh-oh. Ah! Leave me alone. There we go. Oh, boy. That's not what I meant to do. This is what I wanted. There we go. All right, let's reload. All right. And we climb the ladder, and we get up, up all the way. There we go. Get on the machine gun. Turn around. And we shoot the area's sandbags underneath the nests to blow them up. Well, not blow them up, but you know what I mean. Make them come down. And then we got these guys down here. I think they're cool. And there's a few more. This thing is the equivalent to a minigun in this game, so you pretty much just hold the button and just sweep left and right. It's almost like a continuous laser beam in this game. <laughs> and you can go ahead and kill these guys. There's no point. I remember when I was younger, I used to just have so much fun just killing them over and over and over and over and over again. I'd sit here for like 10 minutes just doing that. I don't know why. I was like kind of testing to see if they would ever actually die and like stay dead, but they just come back eventually. So let's uh, go down here. Oh boy. Well, no going back that way. Alrighty. Oh boy. That is the first mission. Was it la was the recording lagging that whole time? I hope not. Oh. I can't like look over when I'm like playing a game that requires full attention. Okay, so uh, it was not lagging. It was just I don't know. The preview window lies to me sometimes. So let's go ahead and save real quick here. And there shouldn't be anything in here. No. Nope. Uh, code name. I am boring and unoriginal, so we're gonna call it LP for Let's Play because that's not it. That's not what I want. No, go back, go back, go back. Go. Oh, no, how do I go backspace? This is the backspace down here. There we go. Typewriters definitely had, you know, backspaces. <laughs> just, just uh, go ahead and stamp, unstamp that ink right off the page. It works perfectly every time. <laughs> uh, anyways. Not complaining that they let me backspace. If it worked like an actual typewriter, that would be terrible. Um, it's taking a little while to save, but I guess it's it's making like entirely new data for the entire game. So, um, let's see. Let's try to do two missions per video because that would be a really short episode. Well, 
I say mission, but it's really uh, it, it's, it's kind of weird. The game um, there's like different. Uh, how do I put this? For every mission, there are multiple levels within that mission, like sub levels. So um, yeah, it's hard to hard to explain. But. Only cruisers? I never noticed that. We don't have battleships? Oh. Well, that's sad. Why did he do that? Okay, well, now I've got to do it. Do I have grenades or anything? Um, how do I... Hmm. Wait, how do I... I need to... Uh-oh. Wait. Continue? Quit. Uh, hmm. Nope, okay. Never mind. I was going to try and check my controls. I remember how this works, kind of. Ow, ow, ow! Hey, stop it. Who's shooting me over there? I'm trying to get that barrel right there. Oh, come on. Something is shooting me from the side, and it's really t ticking me off. Okay. What? Okay. I guess I'm going to have to turn to my left and kill that guy in the gun up there. Whoever he is. It won't actually let me, uh... Oh, yeah, this guy's, this guy's hitbox is massive, apparently. Well, he's dead. Okay, now. Do it, I dare you. Alright. No, I guess not. Okay. That, that seems to have done the job. Okay. Let's see, is there a field surgeon pack over here? No, I guess not. All right, well. Oh, well, I found one there, so that's nice. Yes, I know I'm firing from the hip, but that's kind of the idea. Um, the the leaning uh, thing, like when you zoom in and it just kind of leans like this, that's very hard to get used to. So a lot of the times I'll just hip fire. Also, something I remember very being very impressed with when I was younger, and it's still impressive like even now when you think about it. Destructible objects, actually. Pretty cool in a game this old. So, like these barrels here and stuff. Oh yeah, we need to uh, get on this. Well, you don't have to, but it's a lot easier. And we'll just shoot all of those guys there. This is another spot where, I don't know why, when I was younger, I used to just do the dumbest things. I'd sit on these machine guns and just shoot, like, forever. I think I just like seeing the gunfire, <laughs> but... Uh, I don't know why I did stuff like that when I was younger. Couldn't tell you. There's a bash, right? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, get out of here. Are you dead? Nope. Well, now you are. Some M1 Garand bullets found. Oh. What is... Okay. I can't decide whether the sensitivity is too high or too low. I can't... Hmm. Well, I can't change it right now, either. So, there's... No point getting too hung up over it. And then the other thing we need to do is actually destroy the radio. Can we bash it to death? To death. It's a radio. It's inanimate. But, you know, you get the idea. Nope. I'll just do that. No, you didn't hear anything. Oh, boy. Well. All right. Now, let's actually try to do this right. Do it. Or don't. Yep, that works, too. Wait, what? Oh, is he good? No? There we go. Seems to be a tiny bit of input lag with the uh, R1 button, but it's very minuscule. It's hard to see. Um, it's quite dark in here. Ah! Stop that. I keep pressing X to reload. That's not the reload button. There we go. Um, alright. Up we go. You know, hands-free and all that. Um... Hi. Let's see... What the... Oh, I know there's a spot where a guy pokes his head through a hatch and, like, drops a grenade down. There he is! Did he... Did he... He didn't get to pull the pin? No, I guess not. Okay. Oh, boy. So there goes that guy. Someone else in here? I think there's someone else in here, isn't there? Yes. 
Was he, did he have his hands up to surrender? I don't care. <laughs> uh, all right, let's lock and load here and get moving. Oh boy. So this is something that um, you're gonna wanna pay attention to. These uh, smoke grenades here, you have to pick these up. If you don't pick these up, you're gonna get to the end of this area and be very confused about what the heck is going on or why something isn't letting you progress. Um, that happened to me a couple times when I was younger. So this is why I said don't use your Thompson back on the beach. This is very good for this part and you don't wanna like not have ammo. So. Hang on. There we go. Oh boy, you coming around? Oh goodness! Uh. Well, you can really move around when you're uh, zoomed in like this. I can't like see this guy though. Oh. I get him. There we go. Wow, that is. Very fast movement on the camera. Uh, I need some bullets. I'm gonna run out of bullets soon. Excuse me, sir. Who do you think you are? Ooh, I remember this part. Hello. Goodbye. Now, this one, I'm gonna blow this one up now because, well, you'll see why here in just a second. Hear that? That's an MG42 down the hallway. Um, and we don't want that thing to shoot the barrel that was right there. So that's why I decided to get rid of it then. I did. Maybe it's not an MG42. In any case, if they shoot that barrel while you're standing here, it's very bad. I do remember that. I don't I think there's an MG42 down there, I'd second thought, but in any case, if they shoot it, it's bad news bears for you. Oh boy. That camera shake, though. Oh. So you can just barely see those guys run um, down through the hallway there. That's important um, because, as you'll see in just a moment, this can be a pain to deal with sometimes. Uh, but basically, there's going to be one there, and then there's going to be one behind you, too. So you're going to have to pop through here and kill multiple guys from both angles. Um, well, there's one of them. That's one way to do it. And then... Oh! I'm a bad shot. I'm a horrible shot. PlayStation controller's a little weird. I'm so used to Xbox now. As well as, like, newer games with smoother uh, controls and everything. All right. Let's see here. Hello, sir. Kill him. And we come in here. We open up this door. So this is kind of an interesting thing. Um, if you... I guess they don't... <laughs> um, anyways, what I'm trying to show... If I can stop reloading and stuff. If you kill one of these guys... The other one is like, oh no, and turns around and tries to shoot you, but of course, you know. <laughs> it's uh, all for naught in the end. Then we can try to shoot across to those two. Never mind, plane took care of them. Oh boy. That had a yellow nose. That is a German plane, isn't it? So did they assume that we were up here already? I mean, he was right about my bunker, but captain hadn't been up there yet. Okay, so this is why you need these smoke grenades. Because he, uh, well, you see he threw down smoke, and then that gets uh, blown up or hit by artillery. So you need your own smoke grenades to place here and run away so that eventually... Oh, ow. Thank you. This is why you need the smoke grenade. I will try to see in the options if there are uh, some subtitles as well that I can enable. Just in case. 
And see, this is the this is the different screen from the last one we saw, where it said the fight continues. This is the one you actually get to the end of a mission, like a full mission. It says mission accomplished. So this is what I mean by. June oh, 6th, 1944. This is cool. 175,000 Allied soldiers breached the walls of Fortress Europe through intense German resistance. By late June, Sherberg had fallen, giving the Allies the port they so desperately needed. By early August, Eisenhower had amassed an Allied army of over one million strong. Treacherous field-to-field -field hedgerow fighting unleashed a breakout across France. With the Germans in full retreat, the Allies marched into Paris. Field Marshal Montgomery moved north into Belgium, while General Patton and the Third Army pushed to the Siegfried Line. It was here that the Allies encountered their newest enemy, the lack of sufficient supplies. Patton's plan was to run straight through the teeth of the Siegfried Line directly to Berlin. Monty had devised a daring airborne operation that had the potential of ending the war by Christmas. Having only enough supplies to support one advance, the fate of thousands rested in the hands of the few. With Allied superiority on land, sea and air, what could go wrong? Only everything, as we know from actual history. August 16th, 1944. I think it'll ask me to save and stuff. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hey, I got a gold medal. Nice. Accuracy was god-awful. Oh, did it black screen? Oh, no, there we go. Okay, nice. So, I got a gold. Um, accuracy was terrible, as I expected. Only 58 hits uh, out of 446 shots fired. It's it's fine. It's all good. Preferred weapon than Thompson, of course. Uh, number of hits taken, 27. 42 enemies killed. Um, yeah, I think that went pretty well. Shot locations, uh, head, torso, groin, um, left leg, right leg, left arm, right arm. Okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and save real quick, as we like to do around here. We'll save over Let's Play. And let's see how long this one takes. This should go faster in theory because it's not making an entire thing for the whole game. Um, but I don't know. I guess it's not going to go that much faster. Wow, okay, that took a while. Alright, uh oh, oh no, I already hit, oh no. No, 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 exit, okay, there we go. <laughs> I, I hit X like as it was coming back to this, so. Alright, my bad. Well, that will have to do it for this episode of Medal of Honor Frontline. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you are, uh, I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you're excited for the new uh, series here. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and as always, hope to see you all in the next one.